Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I wanted to share some speculation that uh, has been sitting with me and that's been brewing for the past few hours or so. Earlier tonight, I was watching a YouTube video about how Michael Doherty, the director of uh, the upcoming film Godzilla, King of the Monsters, sat down with an, uh, an interviewed with a site today called Cinema Today, and uh, he said in this interview uh, regarding the Oxygen Destroyer, which is uh, the bomb that was used to kill Godzilla in, uh, in the 1995 film Godzilla vs. Destroya, he confirms, and I quote, it appears as an important key item to the story. This is not just a cameo. Now, this is interesting because last summer, or summer of 2017, he posted uh, on his Twitter uh, the thumbnail that you see in this video of uh, where they were on uh, day 41 of shooting with three dragon heads, heads, and it says day 41, and it's the Oxygen Destroyer. And a lot of fans recognize it as the iconic weapon used against Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Destroya, and I think it's uh, been used uh, a couple times in previous films and whatnot. But what's interesting is that a lot of people originally speculated based on that original tweet of that photo that he posted that this might be just a cameo or a call out, a throwback, whatever you want to call it to the original films. But now the director himself recently, like a few days ago, confirmed this is going to be an important piece of the story in Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, this could mean a couple of things, and here's one of the things I think it could be. Number one, humanity, uh, despite uh, knowing Godzilla saved them from the Mudos in the first movie, perhaps do not fully trust or have a lot of faith in Godzilla's ability to combat and hold other monsters at bay, so they decide to annihilate him along with Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra, and whatever other uh, titans may appear in the film. So perhaps this is humanity's uh, last and only resort option, and that comes down to using the oxygen, de oxygen destroyer either on Godzilla or just on King Ghidorah or maybe on Mothra and Rodan or whatever titans they see as a threat whether that's Godzilla or any of any of the other monsters remains to be seen and now my theory is this I think the oxygen destroyer may be used to hurt or severely weaken Ghidorah and I say severely weaken and not kill for this reason I feel like Godzilla will have the honor and uh the, the honor and uh, the the moment to shine in the spotlight to uh, kill Ghidorah, uh, you know, to like rip all three heads off or something like that, or at least rip one head off and then weaken the, the rest of them. I think humanity will use the oxygen destroyer in an attempt to destroy King Ghidorah, but it backfires on them where it only severely weakens the three-headed beast and Godzilla moves in to finish him off. That's one possibility. Here's another possibility I see. Uh, they use the Oxygen Destroyer on a Ghidorah that's been severely wounded and beaten up by Godzilla. The bomb destroys the three-headed dragon, and everybody thinks the dragon has died, but it actually mutates and metamorphoses into what will become Destroya. And then Destroya will appear in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, either as an enemy for Godzilla to fight, or perhaps Kong to fight, or better yet, they may team up after they have their brawl, they may team up to take down Destroya together. Just a theory. I want to make it perfectly clear that from what, I'm, what I've been discussing, it's just my theory, my personal theories, and speculation. None of this has proven to be true yet. This is just merely a fan sharing his opinion of what I may think we might see. And uh, here's my other, and the reason why I decided to do a video on this is because it kind of hit me like a realization earlier tonight. Uh, when they announced a few months ago the synopsis for Godzilla vs. Kong, which is currently in production, there was a line at the end of the synopsis that read, A human conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures, both good and bad, from the face of the earth forever. 
which could imply that if the oxygen destroyer isn't used in this movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters, it might be used in Godzilla vs. Kong in an attempt to destroy both Kong, Godzilla, and whatever remaining titans there may be walking the earth. In one fell swoop, just eliminate all the creatures together. Whether this is done through a sanctioned monarch mission by Dr. Sarazawa and his friends, or maybe this is a rogue, sinister, shadowy organization with its own nefarious uh, plans and uh, ideas in mind, maybe they're the ones. Maybe they're the ones who are a part of this human conspiracy to destroy all the monsters. That remains to be seen. So we really don't know much about the plot details for Godzilla vs Kong or for Godzilla King of the Monsters. We don't know what kind of role the Oxygen Destroyer is going to have. But based on the director's tweet featuring the three dragon heads, I feel like it's going to be used on or against King Ghidorah. Whether it kills him or turns him into Destroya for a Godzilla vs. Kong movie or as the YouTube video that I was watching suggested for a third Godzilla film where it's Godzilla goes head to head with just Destroya then maybe that's possible too. But I just thought it was interesting how I remembered that line in the Godzilla vs. Kong plot synopsis talking about a human conspiracy that threatens to wipe out all of the creatures, good or bad, from the face of the earth. And I feel like the way that they would, do, uh, one way they would go about doing it is by using the Oxygen Destroyer. Because it's killed Godzilla before in the past in some other previous film incarnation of him. And it sounds like one destructive, severely, highly powerful weapon. Like powerful enough to stop a beast like Godzilla and probably monsters as big as him as well. All in all, this is all purely speculation, and I will just go through the facts one more time. The facts are is that the Oxygen Destroyer will be a key item featured in the story for Godzilla King of the Monsters. That is all we know. That is the only fact we have. The director confirmed it himself that this bomb or this weapon will appear in the film, and he also made it very clear that the humans will be using other weapons at their disposal to try to combat Godzilla and the other monsters as well. So he wants to make that clear that the Oxygen Destroyer is not the only weapon in the human's arsenal, that there are plenty of other weapons. This just happens to be one of them. So that's the only fact we have so far. Everything else I just rattled off was just purely theory and speculation. This is all stuff that, you know, I've heard on YouTube and stuff that I have come up with on my own. Like, I'm sure other people have made the connection, but I only earlier tonight made the recent connection between the synopsis for Godzilla vs. Kong that talks about a human conspiracy wanting to wipe out all the monsters, good or bad, which covers Godzilla, Kong, and then evil monsters like the Skull Crawlers and King Ghidorah. And then um, just hearing about that and then remembering that what the director said about the Oxygen Destroyer just clicked in my mind. I'm like, this seems like a good, a highly probable scenario. And I'll be curious to see what actually unfolds in the next couple of years with Godzilla King of the Monsters coming out this summer and then next summer Godzilla vs. Kong. So maybe they'll use the Oxygen Destroyer and King of the Monsters and that'll be the end of it. Or maybe it'll appear in Godzilla vs. Kong. Either way, it sure is fun to think and speculate about. So what do you guys think? I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Again, I'd like to stress to everybody that this is purely speculation None of this has been confirmed by Legendary Pictures, Warner Brothers, Toho, anybody else involved with the productions. This is merely fan, a fan speculating and theorizing. That's all this is. But I want to hear from you guys. If you guys agree with me or if you've got theories of your own, I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to sound off down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really would like to hear your ideas and theories of your own. If you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, please let me know. And uh, once again, you guys can uh, disagree with one another, of course. We're all entitled to our own opinions, and that's fine. Just please keep it respectful. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, comes out this summer, May 31st. And Godzilla vs. Kong, that's the unofficial title, is currently filming and will wrap sometime earlier this year and will hit theaters May 22nd, 2020. So it's going to be a fun couple of years. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.